none of this computer power existed back in 1976, when John was working on the groundbreaking motion control visual effects for Star Wars. So John, what is motion control? Motion control is, in essence, what it says. It's the ability to control motion on a repeatable basis. Visual effects is defined by two or more subjects photographed at separate times that are combined onto a single piece of film to appear as if they were photographed at one time. Motion control allows you to shoot multiple elements, two or more, with the same camera move, duplicate camera move, which means when you combine those elements together in the optical printer, they all look as though they were photographed at the same time. Back in the pre-digital days, if you wanted a special effect shot, you had to keep it caveman simple. You locked down the camera and shot a model moving past a background. You could even jazz it up with separate elements like a death ray, shot at a different time and combined later with the first shot. Great, unless the camera guy got fancy and decided to put a move on the shot. Now you're in trouble because the movement of the camera has to match every time you shoot a new element, and no human can operate with that precision. So now when you go to combine them, they don't match up and you're off target. John and his team had to invent something brand new, the Dijkstra Flex. When it came time to build the system, John pulled parts from all over, cannibalizing tech from the manufacturing world, like numerically controlled lathes. I studied industrial design. I took lots and lots of things apart, put some of them back together again. But I had an understanding of the mechanics of things, the physics of things. Back in the late 70s, Dijkstraflex was the most cutting edge motion control technology. But today, there's a major new tool in the box, CG. 